Hello and welcome to Kangaroo English. I'm Christian. I'm Luis Alvarez, special guest for today. <laughs> It's a special guest. <laughs> and today we are going to be studying the present perfect. So, how are you, Luis? I'm good. Looking forward to, you know, learning more things about present perfect. Okay, good. I'm looking forward to teaching you. Great. So, um, so uh, are you a student or...? Yeah, I'm a student, actually. Yeah? yeah. What, what, what are you studying? I'm studying law in Coruña, but you know, it's good to improve in English as well. Yes, it's a, it will be very important. You can become an international lawyer. Yeah, international court you know, looks very appealing for, to me. Yeah, and good, good money, good pay. Exactly. <laughs> and traveling, do you like to travel? I like to travel a lot. Yeah. So, you know, going to court in the States or even in Australia would be great, so... Yeah, um, well, in Australia we have lots of kangaroo courts. That's a, that's a word for you to look up in the dictionary. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's go and study Present Perfect. Sure. Present Perfect. Sure. <laughs> so, um, what is the Present Perfect? Well... The Present Perfect, although it says Present Perfect, is actually really um, a mix between the past and the present, okay? Um, and it always requires the action to start in the past. So really it's a past tense, okay? But we're gonna say it's a mix between past and present. And also, it, it's, it talks about things which have a strong connection to the present. Yeah. Yeah. So we can say a strong link to the present. Okay. Um, so, so this is the, the, the description of the present perfect. So what is the, the construction for present perfect? First we have the subject. Okay, good. Then we use the verb to have. Good. And, and then, then the participle. Very the good. We want, to, you know, want, to, want to use with the present perfect. Okay, perfect. So um, can you give me uh, an example sentence? Any sentence. For example, I've been okay lately. Okay, good. So I have been okay. Recently. Yeah. Perfect. So we have the subject, conjugation of this, and then the participle, and then the... Yeah, fantastic. I've been okay. And what about the, the negative? What's the negative of this? Uh, it's actually not very different. You just have to use a negative uh, form of the verb to have. So, I haven't been okay, for Very example. good. Very good. So, here we put the not. I have yeah. not. Or yeah. we can use the yeah. contraction. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. I have not been okay. And now what about the, the question form, the interrogative? How do we... Uh, well, we have to make like an inversion between the verb to have and the subject. So it's like, have I been okay? Very good. Excellent. So we invert the verb and exactly. the subject. There you have go. I been okay with the question mark? Okay, very good, Lewis. Perfect. Perfect. I think that the a majority of people who are learning English, the problem is the difference between the present perfect and the past simple. I know. It, because it seems very confusing. Okay, so let, let's look at the difference. So, uh, the past simple, okay. The past simple describes a finished action. And um, it also describes an action at a specific time. So this, this would be the past simple. Present perfect could be a finished or an unfinished action. Okay? So it's both. Finished or not finished. And also, a non-specific time. 
And this really, this really is the key difference between the two. So, for example, if you're using the word um, yesterday, hmm. it's a specific time. We have to use past simple, we can't use present perfect. Or if you say um, uh, at, at 12 o'clock, hmm. it's a specific time, we must use past simple. But if we have uh, a non-specific time, like for example, um, often or recently, then, then it's more natural to use this. Yeah. So this really is the big difference between the two. So let's, um, let's look at some examples. Let's, um, let's use some examples from, from your day today. So what did you do this morning? This morning I had breakfast, for example. Okay, it's good. Time. I had yeah. breakfast, good. I had breakfast this morning, good. What else did you do? Uh, I put this shirt on. Okay, good. Okay, and then after that? Uh, I came to class. Good, I came to class, very good. Good. So you can see, because, because we're talking about finished actions, your breakfast is finished, you put the shirt on and you came to class, um, and also because we're talking about a specific time, this morning, specific moment, we're using the, the past simple, okay? But now, if, if we want to use present perfect, then we have to talk about the things that you did related to now, and also at a, at a non-specific time, okay? So for example, if I ask you, today, have you had breakfast? Yes, I've had. Exactly, yes. I have had breakfast. Okay? So, I'm, I'm talking about a non-specific period of time, from, from this morning to now, yeah? And um, I don't know if you've finished the action or if you've not finished the action. So it's more natural for me to ask you, like this, instead of this. Mm -hmm. If I say, did you have breakfast? It's okay, but more natural, have you had breakfast? And you respond like this, perfect. Uh, and like the shirt, uh, I can ask you about your shirt. So, how long have you had this shirt? I've had the shirt for six months. Okay, good. I've had, so you can see we have the contraction. Yeah. Here. Oops, this is a T. <laughs> for six months, good. Good. So it's, it's a, a non-specific period of time, yeah? From the past until now, and it's related to now, strong connection to now, because you're wearing the shirt. Exactly. You will, you will notice, if you, if you read the newspaper, or if you listen to speak, people talking, normally they will start in the present perfect, and then they will move directly into the past simple. So, for example, I could ask you, have you been to the cinema have you been to the cinema recently mm. so i would start i would start with this because um, i don't know if you've been to the cinema in the past you know when exactly you went to the cinema um, you know, if it's true, so I, it, I have to use past uh, present perfect. Uh, and then you, you would reply, yes, yes I have, exactly. So you are, you are copying, the, copying the question for your reply. But now I know that you went to the cinema at a specific time in the past. So then it's natural for me to switch into, pa into past simple and say, what did you watch? So now I, I must use past simple because we're talking about a specific finished action. Exactly. I can't say, what have you watched? No, it doesn't, it's not correct. Okay, so you will, you will notice this when you listen to people speaking or in the, on the news, for example. Um, today, five people have been killed in an accident. 
And then they will switch to talk about the accident specifically. The accident was at 12 o'clock, for example. Also, um, like these, these adverbs of, of frequency um, to talk about things in the past, really also it's, it's natural to use the, the present perfect. So, you know, um, I have always gone to Italy on holidays. So, what's the difference then between, um, because normally with an adverb of frequency, you use it with the present simple. No, for example, like, for example, I always eat pizza. And I have always eaten pizza. So, the difference between the two really is if we use the present simple, we imply that this is now, in the past, and in the future. It's like a habit. But if we say this, I've always eaten pizza, it has more of a strong connection to the past. The future is uncertain. Now, for and since to talk about time. So, we'll start with four. So, if we say, I um, lived in America for one year, and I have lived in America for one year, what's the difference? Uh, actually, uh, in four one and one, the first sentence with the past simple, mm -hmm. you are not living in America anymore. Exactly, very that, good. You mean that, and in the second one, you mean that you are still. You're still exactly, very America. good, very good. Because the, the past simple always means the action is finished. Yeah. So exactly, now we don't live in America, but here, yes, we're continuing to live in America. So it's a big difference. Yeah. But with since. Because since is always a non-specific period of time, um, we, we cannot use it with past simple, okay? Because it's, it's not a specific time, yeah. whereas for can be, okay? So with since, always present perfect. With for, depends what you want to say. So um, what's the difference between the present perfect continuous and the present perfect? Well, the, the present perfect um, is to talk about actions that can be, you know, continuing now or maybe 20 years ago. But the present perfect continuous is always recent. So, for example, imagine that you see me and I'm like... <gasps> what do you say? Have you been exercising? Very good. Have... You've been exercising, exactly, so we would, it's more natural to use the continuous because you know it's recent, yeah, yeah because I'm, yeah. <laughs> and the construction is simple, so we have the verb, verb to have, subject, uh, participle, verb to be, the verb to be, always the verb to be, yeah. and then here, I and you form of the verb. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, um, and then, you know, the negative and the, the, the affirmative, the same as, as present perfect normal. Yeah. So this is the difference between, between the two. How do you feel now about present perfect? Great, I understood okay. it now, so... Okay, cool. Well, um, we're going to sit down and, um, and do some activities. Great. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we are going to do a very um, quick activity to practice um, present perfect. So, what I want you to do, okay, with a piece of paper and a pencil, um, I want you to write a list of your um, greatest achievements. Okay, maybe five or six, that's all. <laughs> okay. Okay, fabulous. So, um, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five things. Yeah. Okay. So now we we are just going to um, practice talking about them, um, the past simple, 
and then the present perfect, depending. Okay. So what's the first one in your list? Get through bachillerato. Ah, so finishing your 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 exactly. un, your university yeah. entrance exams. Yes. There you go. Okay. So um, now let's talk about them first in past simple. So. Uh, for example, last year I passed my last uh, bachillerato exam. Exactly. Perfect. Very good. So we're talking about a specific time yeah. and a specific action. Okay. So now let's let's talk about your your university exams uh, in relation to your university now. So the two things are related. So your your university exams will have a strong connection with now. So what can you say in the present perfect? Uh, I have passed uh, the university exams of the first course, then I will be able to, the take, to take the exams of the second year. Excellent, very good. Okay, perfect, perfect, exactly. So you finished your exams, you have finished your exams, yeah. related to now, and then you will be in the future be able to. Perfect, okay. Survive a week without mom. <laughs> <laughs> Survived a week without mum, but completely destroyed the house. <laughs> well, not yet. Is it, well, the house must survive as well, not the three years of, uni of university, so, <laughs> you know, you have to keep it safe. <laughs> so, um, is this, is this your surviving now at university? Yes? Exactly. Okay, okay. Um, so, <laughs> and you were talking about this in the past, yes, because it's a, a specific time. Yeah. But... Relating it to the present, to talk about finished or non-finished actions. So, um, have you ever um, lived away from your parents? Yes, I have. Yeah? yeah. So tell me more about it. Uh, I lived uh, with my parents during the university course. Okay. So, now we have two options, don't we? Because if you say, I lived, if you use past simple, that means now you don't live separate from them. Yeah. But if you say, I have lived, that means probably it, it's continuing through yeah. now. So, so which one is it? Is it, I lived or I have lived away from my parents? In this case, it's I lived, because once the university course is over, I come to Chantada to live with them okay, very once good. again. Excellent, okay, very good. So you can see how important it is to, to choose the correct tense in this case. Okay, yeah. excellent. What's the next one? Uh, pass more than five exams at university. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you passed, yes? Yeah. Okay, yay, yay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and um, so I saw you use the, the past simple, you passed the exams. Yeah. But if I'm not sure, or if I want to, um, to ask you the question, I could say, have you passed your university exams? Yes, I have. Very nice, very nice. Um, and um, have you received uh, good scores, good marks? So so, <laughs> but uh, I know. Yes, uh, well, I very good have, marks. Uh, yes, yes, ten, I, ten, 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 yes, ten. I've had very good marks. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So he says, I've had very good marks. Yeah, because it's strongly related to now. Because exactly. we're talking about your exams. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Well, I think um, you you're um, completely controlling this this tense now. Right? Yeah. I think I think very good. Very yeah, good. You can use it later in a conversation. Exactly, exactly. Um, at university, you can use it everywhere. Exactly. In bars <laughs> to pick up girls. <laughs> Erasmus girls, be aware. <laughs> you can say, Are you hurt? Because an angel has just fallen, fallen from the sky. <gasps> Damn! <laughs> and that is prison perfect. An angel has just fallen. Wow. <laughs> Such a joke. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, um, if you would like to see any more uh, videos about grammar, pronunciation, etc., then don't forget to subscribe to Kangaroo English. Exactly. Subscribe, then give <laughs> like, subscribe, and see you next time. <laughs> exactly, yes. Thank you very much, Lewis. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I'll see you in class. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>